Well, hello and welcome to Bike Social. I'm Michael Mann and welcome to Donington Park. I'm here with Kawasaki for the World of Kawasaki Day and I'm here to try out this, the ultimate ninja experience. What is the ultimate ninja experience, I hear you ask? Well, thankfully, Milo Dokmanovic is here from Kawasaki. Milo, thanks for having me. Michael, thanks for coming along. We've got ZX6 here. What's this all about, though? Yeah, so the ultimate ninja experience is giving customers the opportunity to test ride the updated ZX6R, but also experience the uh, expert tuition from Leon Haslam or Chris Walker. So it's double pronged. And also the value of the day is put towards a discount if the customer is to buy a brand new ZX6 as well. So it's, uh, is it a full day, half day? So customers sign up for a half day and you get a minimum of three sessions um, and the expert tuition as well. So you get to keep this fancy bib that you've got on and you can get that, uh, that star rider to sign it for you and you get an evaluation form as well that you can take home and that gets signed and you can frame that up. Yeah, so it's really, it's about making some noise about the updated ZX6. Yeah, and it's sort of a, a relatively safe environment here on track. Absolutely, yeah, control Is it all at Donington or at various locations? Yeah, so various locations across the country. All the information is on our website and you book through No Limits. Mate, excellent, nice work. So I've got Leon Haslam here today. He's hopefully going to tell me what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, well, maybe you can teach him a thing or two. <laughs> I don't know about I've that. I've seen you out there, you're pretty quick. <laughs> Let's have a go, cheers. No worries, thank you. Leon, thanks so much for looking after me today. So we've done, what, two or three sessions out on circuit already. I've had information overload. So, but tell me a little bit about how you would deem my performance and, and what we've been learning so far. Obviously, you can clearly ride a bike. It's not about how to ride a bike. It's, uh, it's understanding how you can influence a bike and where you need to be at Donington Park. You know, I've done a lot of laps around here. So, you know, being aggressive where you need to be aggressive. Um, body positioning to help the bike to basically be in the right place, but not on the edge, not on the limit. You know, I see a lot of people touching foot pegs, but the knee's nowhere near the ground. And we kind of want to reverse that, you know, we want to put the bike in the most safest position, um, but also to be faster and safer. And uh, for me, that's the key. Um, understanding where you need to be on the track and, and, and trying to use your body and, and what's possible to make that happen. A lot of laps around here you said that you've covered and for you, you know how you can gel first corner to the next corner to the next corner. And, and one of the big things I've taken today already is, is the, the compromise you kind of make into Redgate to ensure that Crane and the old hairpin and, and, and how the, the circuit flows as one. And you kind of got to set it all up early, haven't you? It is, everything's linked here. You know, if you're a little bit greedy at turn one, it can affect you for the next six corners. And, uh, you know, again, that's for me, it's where it's down to where you can be aggressive. You know where you don't need to be greedy and you know be a little bit patient to make sure you get that exit and not only that to get the next corner um, in front of you you know how you want it to be so you know you're not struggling to stop on the track you should never feel that way at Donington a fast lap around Donington is to have a quarter of the track left and uh, for me that's uh, it's hard to sometimes get your head around because you want to get on the throttle earlier you want to run a little bit more corner speed um, but that just kind of puts you in a lot of danger and it stops that acceleration points, which is, which is key around here. So the keys are don't be greedy and try and be as patient as you can in terms of waiting for the apex, especially with the red gate, because I'm, I'm so tempted to turn in too early. Too early, turning in, opening the gas a little too early. Um, one of the key points that I try and uh, say to everyone is that when you first open the gas, like, where am I pointing, you know? You want to be pointing up the track as much as you possibly can. So if you're going to be aggressive and work hard, work hard in doing that. And if you can do that, then you're going to be faster and safer. You're not going to be trying to squeeze an extra 5% gas and not sure if you're going to run off the track. And you know, more you can achieve that, faster and safer you'll be at Donington. And actually, these, these ZX6s are ideal for learning like that, aren't they? You don't want too much pain. You don't want a ZX10, really, just to, in, in order to learn more. Yeah, um, you know, the handling, the, the turning, the lightness of the bike, you know, from a beginning point of view to a racing point of view, the ABS, the traction control, you know, the smooth torque and power delivery that it's got, it's, uh, yeah, it's a perfect bike, you know, especially for uh, track days and stuff like that. It, you know, I enjoy riding these, and, and as far as the lap time goes, this to a ZX10, 
it's probably not even a second in it, you know, if you're scratching to the maximum. So, you know, it is uh, quite remarkable what these bikes can do. Fantastic, right, well, track's clear. I reckon we should go and have a go. So, in summary, it's been a terrific day here at Donington Park. I've certainly learned a lot, which is really, really helpful, and I can't wait to get back out on track another time to put it into practice. Specifically for here at Donington, uh, the biggest takeaway for me has been patience. I would go barreling into uh, Redgate, the first corner, as fast as I could, hard on the brakes, throw it in, try and find an apex. Whether it's the right apex or not, it's another question, and as I've learned today, I was apex in the corner a lot earlier than I should have done because, and here's the key point, leaving it a little bit later allows you to pick the bike up sooner and get on the gas fuller. So rather than apexing early and then gas, 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 as you come up and then you're at full throttle, by, by taking it a bit later, you can then pick it up and you're on, you're full throttle then. And I'm short shifted to fifth through Craner and I've never taken Craner curves so quickly before. And I've done, you know, many uh, track days here before on litre sports bikes. And today was a ZX6, 125, eight horsepower. The point is that the biggest takeaway for me today has been patience at Redgate treats me so well for going across Hollywood, into Craner, down the old hairpin, and then through that left, the two fast lefts. And it sets it all up. So by being patient enough at the first corner, you've then got the flow of the circuit. And it's all about piecing it together like a jigsaw. And there's a lot of information to take in and you only get a finite amount of, of time on track and there's a lot of people out there too, it's quite busy. But if you can find yourself some space on track and get practicing. And the same will go, the same principle will go for any circuit. So whether at Cadwell, Snetterton, Alton, Brands, doesn't matter. The point is that aggression isn't necessarily the uh, the way to a, a faster lap. So you've got to be patient and kind of build it up slowly. It's easy to go out there and go as fast as you possibly think you can and should. Um, but yeah, if you can find, it's all about finding the right line to make sure that the circuit flows uh, and it becomes much more enjoyable too. So actually the ZX6 has been a terrific um, track tool today to, to learn that on because great amount of power, don't get me wrong, but it ain't sort of ZX10 and you're not battling with the bike, you're not fighting with the bike or finding its limits. It's, you know, the, the ZX6 is a, it's a terrific little tool for things like that. Anyway, yes, yeah, a great day out here at uh, Donington Park for the Kawasaki Ultimate Ninja Experience.